SAT math is easy, at least once you figure out College Board's secret formula. But what is it? Of course you can spend hours trying to figure out every single problem from the question bank, or you could simply figure out the four categories that tie everything together. College Board splits the topics into four categories, algebra, problem solving, and data analysis, advanced math, and the hardest, geometry slash trigonometry. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to beat each section and reveal College Board's secret formula. So let's get to it. Algebra is the introduction to SAT math, and it's the first topic which you need to master. There are three main sections that must be learnt here. Linear equations, linear inequalities, and systems of equations. Out of these three parts, the most difficult is systems of equations. So let's do a quick practice problem. A restaurant sells burritos and tacos. Burritos cost $5 each, and tacos cost $3 each. One day, the restaurant sold 26 items and made $96 in total. How many tacos were sold? Let's give each food item a variable and set up a system. The top equation can be solved for B. After we can plug in that B value to the bottom equation and solve for T, this will give us T equals 17, so 17 tacos were sold. If you are able to solve this problem, then you should be up to tackle the algebra section. Problem solving and data analysis, probably the most niche out of the sections. Ratios, percentages, statistics, and units. When it comes to this topic, there are two questions that are commonly tested. Mean median mode and percentages. Let's look at a quick problem for each. The average score of five students is 80. A sixth student joins the group and the new average becomes 82. What was the sixth student's score? We first figure out the total score for five students, do the same for six students, and then subtract. This problem can be done in 10 seconds, which shows how easy median, mean, and mode is. Okay, now let's do a percents problem. 50% of 25% of 8% of a number is four. What is the number? Okay, so first, we want to change these percents into decimals and replace a number with X. We can now solve for X and find it to be 400, so the answer is 400. This section can be very easy, just some of the topics are niche and very specific. Now we're getting into the more difficult sections. The advanced math section has a great breadth of topics everywhere from quadratic equations and functions to manipulating expressions in niche question types. To get the gist of this topic, let's do a quick problem. Which is greater, 3 to the 27th or 9 to the 10th? To solve this problem, we must change the base of 9 to the 10th. This becomes 3 to the 20th, and now we can directly compare. Obviously, 3 to the 27th is larger. Last but not least, geometry, and trigonometry. Without a doubt, the hardest topic. This topic is all about shapes, angles, area, volume, and basic trig problems. To cover the full breadth of this topic, it would take at least an hour. So let's do one problem that should sum up the most difficult parts. A circle has a radius of six. A triangle is inscribed such that one side is the diameter and the opposite vertex touches the circle. What is the measure of the angle opposite the diameter? So here in the circle, it wants the measure of the angle C. Simply by visualizing the problem, we can tell that angle C is 90 degrees. But to get technical, by Thales' theorem, any triangle inscribed in a circle where one side is the diameter is a right triangle. So the angle opposite the diameter is 90 degrees. The SAT math section isn't about memorizing hundreds of random tricks, it's about mastering a few key ideas really well. If you want to dive deeper into any of these topics, make sure to subscribe and look further on my channel.